Hey guys, Murphy's Laser here. Uh, I'm just making a little response video to Alinthio's uh, reprint video. Um, I personally really like reprints, um, but only particular ones. I like, I do like secret rares. I like ultimate rares, and if I can get them for a reasonable price, um, then I'll pick them up for that much. I am a very casual player, I guess, of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, because of Dev Pro, I don't really feel like I need to go play a lot. You know, at, at a locals or anything. I do like owning certain cards, but I will sell a card on the you know the drop of a dime if it goes up in price, um, and just like proxy it or whatever. Because I don't really I play with friends. And my friends don't care. So, you know, but if I have to go to a tournament, I'll I'll try to pick something up for relatively cheap or borrow it. But I do like battle pack. I like battle pack a lot. It's probably my favorite reprint pack ever. Um, I like black rare, uh, and the reason I like black rare is because basically. Well, I like commons. I like commons and black and rares and stuff. But I, I like commons and rares because they don't bend um, when uh, what is that called? Uh, when they you know in temperatures. So like if you if your deck gets hot or whatever, you keep it in a bag that's warm wherever you are or whatever. Uh, they tend to bend a little. So you know and the holographics tend to bend over time if they're subjected to temperatures. And so. Uh, commons and and rares don't do that because there isn't a big you know film of hologram or whatever over the card and so yeah that's why i like commons and rares better than other decks because they stay rigid and straight and uh, it's a lot easier to not show what your holograms are but sometimes you don't have a choice sometimes a card is a hologram a hologramic or a holographic card no matter what there's no lower rarity than whatever and so, like, that's fine for the extra deck stuff, obviously. But, you know, I don't really like to keep my deck all blinged out. You know, that's also a, a big target for uh, theft. And that's a good way to not, you know, get your stuff stolen. Unless it's, like, a, a common or rare that goes for 8 to 10. Someone's probably going to try to steal it just because it's worth it to them. But, so, like, that's another reason I like reprints is because it makes my car, my deck less uh, attractive to, to, you know, the wrong crowd, I guess. And, yeah, so... Basically, that's my opinion on uh, on reprints. Uh, another thing that's really cool that he mentioned was that it makes it more accessible to younger people. And um, of course, Konami most likely knows that this game is played by adults. You know, they see who enters their tournaments. It's going to be from the ages of 16 to likely 30 something, um, and that's who they you know that's the that not really the target audience, but that's who plays the game. But it's meant to be played by eight to whatever year olds, you know, and it's like, that's why there's a cartoon, and that's why, you know, whatever. And that's why it's marketed the way it is. And that's why they changed the demons to fiends and the angels to fairies and all that, you know, fun stuff. And a lot of the stuff gets, uh, you know, the artwork gets censored is because it's, it is a card a kid's card game. And so, uh, and so when things get reprinted and they're cheaper, it's better for the Yu-Gi-Oh economy because you know kids are more likely to buy the packs than you know the, the normal people who would buy it in the secondary market and the only reason that the secondary market is so expensive or anything like that is because people are willing to pay it in the end uh, we dictate how much cards are worth essentially uh, if you if you know if people weren't willing to pay a hundred plus dollars for a Draco sack when it first came out or a big eye or whatever now um, then they wouldn't be that much. It's as simple as that, you know. But because the cards are so good or seem really good, you know, to people, and there are people who are willing to shell out the money because they want instant gratification, uh, then it's going to continue to be like that. It's just basically the life cycle of a of a card game, you know. And uh, it's something that just unfortunately comes with it. But, you know, that's what's really cool about uh, reprint sets is that it makes it, easier for people to get it makes the cards cheaper usually um and stuff like that so yeah that's basically my opinion on reprints i think reprints are good and healthy for the game because it makes it accessible for younger people who can't normally afford it in japan they actually have economic packs that come with like they're kind of like you know the um i guess we get we have star packs or whatever they cost like a dollar and you get five cards or whatever but you can get really cool cards but in japan they have that normal um, where their cards are really, their packs are really cheap, and you can still get secret rares and ultras and blah blah blah. And it's, I think that's a really awesome concept. Um, but yeah, so I think that's my, that's how I feel about reprints. I really like black rare, uh, black rarity, or you know, like kind of that indentation rare or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about reprints in the comments section. Hit the like and subscribe button to see when I put out any videos. And thanks for watching.